whether you are a fresher student or someone with no experience, in this tutorial I will help you transform your LinkedIn profile from this to this so you get noticed by recruiters and hiring managers. Now by including a link to a professional LinkedIn profile on your resume, you also increase your chances by 71% of landing your job interview. So without further ado, let's start with the first one. Disabling key profile updates. Because you don't want your network to be spammed with changes you make to your profile. So go to settings and privacy, click on visibility, scroll down and make sure it says off. Next up, I want to show you how to edit a custom LinkedIn profile URL so that others can easily search and find you in Google or LinkedIn search. Besides, it also looks better on your resume. So choose your first and last name, either with or without a hyphen in between. If those options are already taken, consider using the first letter of your name. Then I would like to show you how to create a professional LinkedIn profile picture. Now, this can help you get 14 times more views if done correctly. Now pick a photo where you look at the camera with some direct light shining on your face. Now go to Google and search for background remover and click on this free remover tool website. Now upload your image so you can make the background transparent and then click on download, preferably download HD and go to this free editing tool called Canva, register and click on create a design. Enter LinkedIn profile picture, click and upload your file. Add a nice soft colored background like this and include your transparent picture. I've got Canva Premium, so I can make it transparent in here. And then we expand, move it around and align it properly. Then you want to go and adjust the picture. Give it a bit more temperature if needed, perhaps also some brightness and increase the sharpness a tiny bit. And once finished, save it accordingly. So LinkedIn profile picture and download it as a PNG file. And once that's done, go back to your LinkedIn profile page and upload the photo. Zoom in a bit, OK, and click on Save Photo. There you have it. Next up, I would like to show you how to design a professional LinkedIn banner. Now, there are many pre-made and customizable designs on Canva, but a simple background photo, as Canva calls it, with these dimensions and a clear message is best. Pick a basic square element, cover the background, and add a subtle, not too flashy color combination, like this. Then I would recommend you add a text box design in the middle. Reshape it a bit, change the color, select the element, hold option and drag it like this. Okay, and then send the layer backwards so it creates some depth. And if you want to move elements, but avoid auto snap or auto align, hold command and move it accordingly. Next up, I want to add a quote or funny one liner to express passion. Use a professional font style like pop-ins, some bold highlight and cursive like this. Reshape and align to finish it off. You can also go to file, view settings, and click show rulers and guides so you can track lines for more precision. And if you have difficulties selecting or deselecting layers, click outside the canvas position so you can select the element over here. Now hold shift to select all elements and drag it accordingly. Next up, I want to add some elements to further emphasize my passion. And just follow me along if you want something similar. And if you can't find the visuals or icons you are looking for, you can also download free images from Pixabay or Pexels.com and upload them to Canva. And once you're done, save it accordingly and download it as a PNG file and upload it to LinkedIn. It says file is corrupt, but then you simply refresh the page. And there you have it. And don't forget, make sure to check how it looks on mobile devices. Now, before you go ham on all the other sections, we first need to perform some keyword research. Go search for this free word cloud tool. You see, you need to know what keywords to include so recruiters can find you for your favorite positions on LinkedIn. Search for some vacancies that you're interested in. And you copy the requirements, paste them, onto this word cloud. And then you repeat the process. Let me fast forward a bit. Once you're done, 
scroll down to see the results and keep your word cloud in mind to complete the next sections. And what better way than to start with probably one of the most important ones on LinkedIn, writing your headline. Now go to the intro section and over here in this window, you can enter yours. Now don't say that you are actively seeking a new challenge because then you only inform recruiters what you need, not what you can offer to them. There's a different section to show that you are open to finding a job. And besides, this headline lacks the keywords that you want to be found on in search. Now, take a look at these great examples, where it's like aspiring or passion for. Help you include some of the words you've generated in your word cloud. Now, to add emojis, you need to open the character view by holding control, command and space. Add max one emoji to spice it up. And if you want to separate parts, Use this vertical line by holding shift and the vertical line symbol on your keyboard. Next up, I want to show you how to add an education section. Click on add profile section and add education. So it appears over here. Now what I do is I only include the school's name and the degree without a start or end date. The reason being is I had years of study delay. Now if you've learned certain skills or made a nice presentation during college, you can add them in here. Now let me just add something random so I can show you how it looks. You can even add a custom thumbnail so your media is presented the way you want it to be. And the added skills have the university's name included. Now if you want your education to appear right over here on your profile, enable show education in my intro. Next, I will show you how to write a professional LinkedIn summary for the About section. It's one of the first things visitors notice when they land on your profile. You can also click on Add a Summary over here. Now, this is a great template that you can use if you have little to no experience. This template allows you to include all the important keywords that you've generated in your word cloud and what a recruiter or hiring manager may need to know about you. But let me show you an example summary based on the template to make it more clear. As you can see, some headers are bold highlighted and some words are cursive. And if you also want to make words or sentences stand out, just do a quick Google search, copy the sentence or words and paste them in here. And then include the new format in your summary. And these tiny bullet points can be added by holding option and the asterisk sign on your keyboard. Next up, I want to show you how to add skills and how to use the skills section. Click add profile section and add at least five or more skills. They will then be listed down over here. And if you click on the dots icon over here, you can reorder the most important ones at the top, like this. So they are immediately visible without having to click on show all skills. Now, skills without endorsements, top voice badges, or any connection to an external authority are quite meaningless to recruiters. LinkedIn's algorithm also won't add much value to them in search. So let me show you how to receive endorsements and preferably from those who are highly skilled at that specific skill. I would suggest sending direct messages to people you know and now write something that's similar to this template. You see, this is a straightforward template with a focus on no more than three primary skills and an offer to return the favor. Now, another way to stand out is by earning a top voice badge for a specific skill. It will not only help you rank better when recruiters search for candidates with that skill, it also adds that little bit of extra authority to your name. Now, to become an expert, you need to add your perspectives on topics that matter to you. Now, you can find these LinkedIn skill pages by going to this page and then just exploring the area you are interested in. But you can also search for your skill and find some underneath the company pages. Pick one out that you want a patch for, and just so you know, you can have multiple badges to your name. Follow the page and start interacting on these pages by liking some pages and the experts' contributions. You see, you first need to be invited by LinkedIn to be able to start contributing. This can take a couple of days, maybe even weeks. Now make sure you also include that skill in your skills section. Okay, so let's say you are invited. That means you can now start contributing your insights. Key here is to contribute to three or more articles to be eligible to earn a profile badge. Now, once you've done that, it can take a week or maybe even a month before you receive this email. Once you do, you have an eye-catching top voice badge next to your name. 
Next up, I want to show you how to gather recommendations. It's not necessary, but it's definitely recommended as it gives recruiters that little bit of extra trust to reach out or invite you to an interview. And it works the same as buying a product. You also prefer to see testimonials and reviews before you purchase something. So how do you go about gathering recommendations? Well, you first need to start by giving recommendations yourself. And this action encourages others to give back the same value. So think of someone you know well or worked with. Fill out these drop downs and write your recommendation here. Keep in mind to be genuine and clearly explain why the person deserves a recommendation. Now, realistically speaking, in most cases, you don't receive anything back. So when this happens, or I should say, when it doesn't happen, go to your profile, click on Add Profile section, and underneath Recommended, you can click on Add Recommendations. Search for the person, continue and fill out these drop down boxes and include a personalized message in this window. Now let's talk about how to use and the differences between the featured project and activity section. The featured section serves as a showcase for project samples you are particularly proud of. A positioned at the top, it is eye-catching and more prominent than the project and activity section. The project section may be less visible, but let me show you. You can use it to connect skills and contributors. You see? Meanwhile, the activity section is more interactive. When you hit post, it is then shared with your network. And even better, let me show you on one of my posts, because if they like, comment, or repost my posts, I gain visibility in their networks too. So this feature is a powerful tool for exposure. Now, once you've finished creating your LinkedIn profile, it's time to enable Open to Finding a New Job. So hiring managers who use the LinkedIn Recruiter feature can find you. Specify your job title and location type. And this is important, for instance, if you study in Los Angeles but plan to work and live in New York, you need to make sure that the recruiters in both areas can find you. Over here you can enable the recruiters only or all LinkedIn members option. Personally, I feel like a banner comes across as a bit desperate or needy, but it's probably more effective if you are less picky and in need of a job as soon as possible. All right, let's delete it and go to the next important topic, which is expressing your interest in your favorite companies on LinkedIn. Let me show you how it's done. Suppose your goal is to work for Amazon and you visit the company's profile, navigate to the About section, and you will find that some companies, though not all, offer an option to privately express your interest in working with them. Your interest can then be seen by recruiters within that company and remains active in their recruiters dashboard for about a year before expiring. Additionally, be sure to click follow so that the company appears on your profile in the interest section under the company's tab. Now, that's all you need to know to create a professional LinkedIn profile as a fresher. I'm sure there are some other sections, but those are easy to complete and not that important. If you want to know more about LinkedIn and how you can use it for lifelong career opportunities, then make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in next video. Bye!